brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Take O'Reilly Auto Parts from your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need quickly from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. All right, couple of ATPs before I always to one. Greetings, Jim. Another school year is down. Did your parents take you on a vacation every summer during your childhood? Which vacation do you remember as being the best? You know, they were really big on sending us to camp. And later on, we went to sleepaway camp. I went away once. First time I went away, I went away for a month. The second time for seven weeks. Man, how happy were they? How happy would you be if your kid was gone seven weeks? Man, I, was the, I know the change hand would get nicer. We're definitely loving that I was gone. You know what? Actually, you know what they did back in the day? My parents were very consistent. My dad had business in Hawaii, of all places. They went to Hawaii three times a year. My parents always went to Hawaii three times a year. So we would do that. That was the vacay. We essentially just went there and nowhere else. When he got sick and my dad had cancer and we knew that he only had so much time left, they got in their heads that they wanted to take my sister and I to Europe. So we made a Scotland run. We stayed in the castle in Scotland. We went to Switzerland. Apparently there were roams in Switzerland that I didn't know that we got to meet. That was really funky. Like we found distant cousins in Switzerland. They actually spelled their names differently than us, but we were related. But most of the vacations were Hawaii. Jimmy Jim, who controls the thermostat at the Rome household? Brent PC. Dr. Jano and I both. Whatever. Whatever, if we're hot, we turn on the air. If we're cold, we turn on the heat. It's not a thing. It's really expensive, but it's not a thing. Will you ever follow one of the clones on Twitter? Carl and Prescott. I believe that I follow Mike DiTola. Mike DiTola, long ago, won an auction item, which included getting a follow from yours truly. So I think that I still follow the doc. Mr. Rome, have you ever taken Mrs. Rome to play miniature golf? Respectfully, Edward Marino from Redondo Beach. Yes, yes, we have. Yet Dodger Jano is athletic. Again, Dodger Jano went to a powerhouse high school. She went to Long Beach Poly. Powerhouse High School. Not only did she go to Long Beach Poly, she ran track in Poly, and she played volleyball in Poly, and she was getting volleyball scholarship offers. And she's one of those gals, one of those people. Janet could go five years, eight years, without picking up a golf club, show up at a golf course, and like, she's not long, but she's straight, 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 straight. She's got that kind of athletic ability. She's good like that. So she probably rolled me up in miniature golf. We have gone. Linear Messenger is in. ATP, is there any caller from back in the day where you wish we'd call on Smack Up 29 and shock the jungle? Of course. Terrence, Jim and Fall River. Those two come to mind. Jim and Fall River has been the ultimate white whale. You can never find that guy. He made two of the most famous calls ever and then just disappeared. If he randomly showed up on June 30th, it'd be incredible. I invited him every year for like 10 years. He never showed up. I've stopped inviting him, but he's still invited. Hey, Rome, thank you for telling it as it is concerning the Michael Block haters, Jim. Social media is the ruination of modern society, and this is just another example. Listen, social media is so good and incredible when it's so good and incredible, and it's the worst thing ever. When it's the worst thing ever. It's both. Albie, go ahead. Roll the week to was. <laughs> What's cracking? A tremendous Monday to you. My name is Jim Rome. Nice to have you here. Hope you had a great weekend. Some of you I know it is. Some of you had a miserable weekend. We'll get to all that momentarily. Ian Patson, Jack Savage. The engineering today. Jack Savage. Look at him. He's already on it. We start off by shouting out to my fellow half chow. My half fam. Your Celtic half fam. Our full half. Um, 
Not that there's ever a good time to quit, but in Game 3 of the Conference Finals, when you've lost two games at home already, it's the very worst time to quit. Um, Back to the drawing board, Boston. I think the Celtics are just not going to happen. They're not going to make it. What happened to that team? They just something. They're, I don't know, scared of heights. <laughs> for my guests for a few more moments. If we enjoy that in 2019 after we won the World Series and we wanted to be on that stage, you got to be accountable too. And when you come for a bad season, you have to be on that stage and confront the fans. Don't forget to put it up. How about we give the Duggins credit for running right through the Lakers? Car flag nation. Put that in your pipe. Smoke it. Put it in a syringe. Oh my God, they swept the Lakers.